Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another comic video. Today, we're going to be looking at all of the Batman related DC comic releases from June of 2023. When I say Batman related, I mean Detective Comics, Batman Comics, Batman Incorporated, World's Finest, Brave and the Bold, Justice League, Batgirls, Catwoman, Robin, Nightwing, anything that's even remotely Batman related. I order all my comics from DCBService.com. That stands for Discount Comic Book Service.com. I order from them because they offer 40% of the cover price. And when you order as much as I do, 40% makes a pretty big difference. In this video, we're going to take a look at each of the books, one by one, cover by cover. Once you got my comic wall, and we'll get them put up. June of 2023, we have The Dawn of the DC Universe. Kind of a soft reboot of sorts. And there's also Pride Month. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's see how we got to this point. You may not be able to see it very well, but behind all of these unopened Batman figures are all of my Batman related comics. Batman and related. So here's the box as it came from DCBService.com. Now let's get the contents out. I always do a good job packaging up the books. Kind of bubble wrap. Each bundle of the books is wrapped in plastic, has cardboard on either side, and a rubber band around them. Here's one bundle of individual comics. Here's another couple of small graphic novel type things. Another bundle of individual comics. Another bundle of individual comics. Another bundle of individual comics. Looks like a couple more graphic novels. Looks like some sort of box set, Batman One Bad Day. Another bundle of individual comics. And it looks like three more individual graphic novels. Here are the contents all laid on the table. We have five bundles of individual books, seven graphic novels, and then a large box set. Let's get them out of the plastic. Here they are out of the package, plastic wrap removed. A bunch of different piles. Next step is going to be to put them into an order that makes sense to me. The same order they are on my comic wall. So I put them into five different piles. The first pile will contain the core Batman related titles. The second pile, Justice League books, followed with Joker and Harley Quinn stuff. The third pile will contain Batman sidekicks and other Batman related characters with their own titles. And then we have mini series and one shots, other sort of miscellaneous crap. And finally, the graphic novel pile. The next step is going to be to take the invoice and make sure nothing was missing or forgotten. So I took the invoice. As you can see, 40% off the cover price. In this bundle, we have a total of 89 items. Everything appears to be counted for. Next, to check them out, one by one, cover by cover. And we'll start off with the first pile, the core Batman related titles. So here's the first pile of books. This has the core Batman related titles. And we'll start off with the original Detective Comics. Here is Detective Comics number 1072. Looks like Solomon Grundy on the front here. Detective Comics 1072, variant cover. Detective Comics 1072, another variant cover. Now on to Detective Comics number 1073. Detective Comics 1073 variant cover. Detective Comics 1073 another variant cover. Detective Comics 1073 another variant cover. Detective Comics 1073 Pride Month variant cover. Batwoman. Renee Montoya the question. Now on to Batman Comics. Dawn of the DC Universe, Batman number 136. You can see it's sort of the equivalent of Batman number 901. Batman 136, variant cover. Batman 136, another variant cover. Batman 136, another variant cover. Batman 136, Flash movie variant cover. Now on to Batman Incorporated. This is number 9. Batman Incorporated, number 9 variant cover. 
Batman Incorporated, number 9, Pride Month variant cover. Now on to Batman Superman, World's Finest, number 16. Batman Superman, World's Finest, 16, variant cover. Batman Superman, World's Finest, swimsuit, variant cover. And then a Batman Superman, World's Finest, 16, Flash movie, variant cover. Now on to Batman Brave and the Bold. Looks like we have Joker here on the front. This is number two. Batman Brave and the Bold, number two, variant cover. Love this cover. Ton of Joker henchmen taking out the Batman. And then Batman Brave and Bold, number two, another variant cover. Now for the second pile. Normally my second pile would contain Just League and related books. But there are really no Justice League books coming out right now. I'm sure with the dawn of the DC Universe, they're going to be starting up again soon. But for now, the only Justice League related book there is, is DC and Ruby. This is number five. Here's DC, RWBY, number five, variant cover. Now on to the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number nine. And then... The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number 9, variant cover. A sick cover. Love it. The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number 9, another variant cover. Now on to another series. The Joker Uncovered. This is number 1. Really weird cover. Joker in a Santa outfit. With a little boy in a Robin outfit crying on his lap. The Joker Uncovered, number one, variant cover. Looks like a foil chrome variant cover. The Joker Uncovered, number one, another variant cover. Now, on to Harley Quinn. This is number 31, Dawn of the DC Universe. You can see your hyenas, Bud Lou, in the background. Harley Quinn, number 31, variant cover. Harley Quinn, number 31, Pride Month variant cover. Now on to Multiversity. Hardly screws up the DC Universe. Number four. Multiversity. Hardly screws up the DC Universe. Number four variant cover. Now on to Poison Ivy. This is number 13. Dawn of the DC Universe. Looks like date night between Harley and Ivy. Poison Ivy, number 13. Variant cover. Poison Ivy 13, another variant cover. Poison Ivy 13, swimsuit variant cover. Poison Ivy number 13, Pride Month variant cover. Now on to Batman, The Adventures Continue, Season 3, number 6. Batman, The Adventures Continue, Season 3, Number 6, Variant Cover. Got the Bat Family there. And then Batman, The Adventures Continue, Season 3, Number 6, another Variant Cover. Here's the third pile. This contain Batman characters and sidekicks with their own titles and their own teams. And we'll start off with Tim Drake Robin. This is Number 10. Tim Drake Robin, Number 10, Variant Cover. I really like his new costume. It's very similar to his original Robin costume. Tim Drake Robin, number 10, Pride Month variant cover. Now on to Nightwing, number 105, Dawn of the DC. You can sort of see things from Nightwing's point of view. He's on a rooftop overlooking Gotham City, about to put his domino mask on. Looks pretty cool. Nightwing, 105, variant cover. Nightwing, number 105, another variant cover. Nightwing, number 105, Pride Month variant cover. I never really understood why both this year and last year Nightwing got Pride Month variant covers. It doesn't really make sense to me. Now on to Titans, Dawn of the DC, number 2, Death and the Family. Titans, number 2, variant cover. Titans, number two, another variant cover. Titans, number two, swimsuit variant cover. 
Titans, number two, Flash movie variant cover. Pretty cool to see the Ezra Miller Flash and Ben Affleck Batman on the cover of a comic. Now on to Peacemaker, Tries Hard, number two. Pretty cool to see Peacemaker with Superman. Peacemaker Tries Hard, number two, variant cover. Peacemaker Tries Hard, number two, looks like movie variant cover. Now on to Catwoman, number 56. Selena Kyle is back. Catwoman, number 56, variant cover. Catwoman, number 56, another variant cover. Catwoman, number 56, swimsuit variant cover. Now on to Batgirls, number 19, once a Batgirl, always a Batgirl. And Batgirls, number 19, variant cover. And here's the fourth pile. This pile will contain the different various Batman miniseries from June. And let's start off with Batman, White Knight Presents, Generation Joker, Book 2, one of the many various spin-offs of Batman the White Knight. Batman, White Knight Presents, Generation Joker, number 2, variant cover. Now on to Dark Knights of Steel, number 11 of 12. Looks like we're getting close to the end of this miniseries. Looks like the Dark Knights of Steel trinity on the front here. Dark Knights of Steel, number 11 of 12, variant cover. And now, the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number 9 of 12. I like it, we got the Scooby signal going on in the back. Now onto Wildcats, number 8. I got this because of Grifter. He's been sort of in Batman comics lately. Wildcats, number 8, variant cover. The Riddler, Year One, Book Five. The Riddler, Year One, Book Five, Variant Cover. The Riddler, Year One, Book Five, Another Variant Cover. DC Pride, 2023, Number One. DC Pride, 2023, Number One, a Variant Cover. DC Pride 2023, another variant cover. DC Pride through the years, number one. And finally, The Lovers, DC Pride, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And here is the fifth and final pile. This pile will contain Batman graphic novels. We'll start off with this little weird book, Fan Club, Batman Squad. Honestly, looks kind of dumb. And then we have this box set. Now, it's cool, but it's also extremely frustrating. Batman, One Bad Day. There are a bunch of different books with the villains. Batman, One Bad Day, showing you it takes one bad day to either make you into a superhero or a supervillain. Now, this book comes with Batman, One Bad Day, The Riddler. Batman, The Killing Joke. Those are both the hardcover versions. And they have this sort of insert here, and this is why it pisses me off. You can take these out. Got the hardcover book here. Riddler, One Bad Day. Batman the Killing Joke, which is not one bad day, although that's the whole point of this. And then the rest of it is empty. You have this box in here, and this is why it pisses me off. And it's basically telling you you've got this direct to market, build as you go box set. So they're basically expecting you to buy the rest of the books and insert them. And that is a bunch of bullshit. This box set here should have come with all the books and cost a little more. That would have been fine. But to have to buy as you go, that really sucks. If I could go back in time, yeah, I probably still would have bought it. But I wish I had known that when buying this thing. Very frustrating. Now onto Batman 1989 movie adaption. That is awesome. I have the original version of this. Very, very cool. With the flash coming out, a lot of 89 keep stuff going on now. Batman, Detective Comics, Fear State, collected book from Detective Comics. 
Batman Beyond the White Knight collected hardcover trade paperback. Batman One Bad Day the Riddler, so I guess I have another book that I can add into there. Oh no, wait, this is the same book that I apparently have twice now. Pretty annoying. History of the DC Universe. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. And finally, Batman Fortress, another hardcover collected miniseries in graphic novel form. And here are all the different June 2023 Batman related comics. A whole floor full of Batman awesomeness. Now let's get these books put up onto my comic wall. Let's start off with the first pile, the core Batman related titles. Now for the second pile. This contained the Justice League books, followed by Harley Quinn, Joker, and then animated stuff. Now let's put away the third pile. This contained Batman characters and sidekicks with their own titles and their own teams. Then the fourth pile. This pile will contain the different various Batman miniseries. Now let's put away the final pile. This pile will contain Batman graphic novels. So that was a look at all the June 2023 Batman related comics. Quite a bit of releases. We have Dawn of the DC Universe, the swimsuit variant covers, and the Pride Month variant covers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Looking forward to seeing what July 2023 is going to bring. Really curious to see what Justice League series is going to start after Dawn of the DC. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional Batman comic and Batman action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate it when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.